Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we watched the Christopher Nolan Batman series. And to be honest, man, it was absolutely phenomenal. So Matt Reeves has a huge task on his hand. But you guys said that we should definitely check out this Robert Pattinson edition of Batman. So I know this is <laughs> this the dude. Edward Cullen edition. <laughs> right. This is the dude who played the vampire in Twilight, right? Yeah. Guys, just so you know, I have not seen that movie. But I know it was a cultural phenomenon. And it was extremely popular, mainly because all you dudes actually loved it on the low. So <laughs> maybe eventually I we'll check one that one out. <laughs> one of the dudes who loved it on the low. Oh, and I was one of the people who loved it on the low. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, this reaction is not going to be this goofy. We're going to definitely try to dive into this movie and take it serious. Because when you watch Batman movies, they really are works They're of so art. They're serious. They're very... You just really have to appreciate. Because so much passion goes into the movies. Especially with like the color grades and just mm -hmm. the symbolism. And So I'm really excited to see it, man. I've never watched a Batman movie that I didn't like so far. So, yeah, me either. You know, I've only got three of them under my belt. After we watch these, I know there's some older batman movies like the originals we're totally down to check those out too guys if you guys show well, this one some love this one opens up the penguin series that comes out in september yeah we'll watch that for sure yeah but yeah guys if you want us to go watch the older batmans and go check them out so we can really get like a good base of who this character really is and please just like the video and show us some support and yeah i'm just excited to get into it so hit us up on patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut full length reactions over there no sync nothing like that man it's just all ready to go and let's watch it right let's go Three nuns in a park. This music is chilling. I don't know what it is or where it came from, but it gets me every time. Mm -hmm. Every time. <gasps> you must have not thought she was about to swing. Is that a girl or a dude? You can tell it looks like a kid. What? Oh, it was just a little Halloween skit because he took the, the the candy and ran. He was a good actor, the dad. Hey, well, one news like. It certainly got hot last night in their final debate before next Tuesday's election. Now, my young opponent here wants to gut the Gotham Renewal Program, established by the great... I have a beautiful wife and young son, okay, and I will not rest. Yeah, I'm watching it now. Why is she still tied? Who's that? But, but I thought we were getting a bump in the new post poll. I can't watch this anymore. Just call me in the morning. Okay? That dude was crazy. Not him, but whoever's in the glasses. Some violent person, I don't know. I thought they were working together. You know what I mean? I didn't like, know he was hiding. I thought hiding. they were in the same room, yeah. like, hanging out, yeah. I didn't realize he was hiding. Kind of strange, right? <clears throat> what am I seeing, you know? That guy was mouth breathing hard, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Thursday, October 31st. It said Bruce, so here he goes. The city streets are crowded for the holiday, even with the rain. That sucks. But I'm there too, watching. Two years of night have turned me into a nocturnal animal. Giving me vampire vibes, right? Little Easter egg. I must choose my targets carefully. Oh! This is creepy. Oh my god. This gosh. feels like the Joker in a way, doesn't it? Come on! Give me the money! The Let's feel go. darkness. Yeah. It's a big city. Well, in the Joker, they had all the people in the mask. Mm -hmm. And it I just created like that. Gotham never changes. They don't know where I am. Nah, Are they trying to look like the Joker? You notice that? Yeah. And that guy who had like a half Joker, he's like not all the way there. We have a signal now for when I'm needed. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. Gordon. It's a warning to them. It's a warning to them. That's crazy. Fear is a tool 
A deterrent. Is he supposed to be a poison guy? He, he called him a drophead. Mm -hmm. They think I'm hiding in the shadows. One of these days he might be. But I am the shadows. To be honest, if I was a criminal, I would just start doing my stuff during the day. I don't like nobody's gonna stop him. Yeah, Batman's asleep. Batman can't hide in the shadows in. What do you do? Nothing. It's just uh, initiation. Yes, Batman. When the time came. The hell are you supposed to be? He's like, damn it, that's the real one right there. <laughs> Dang, he gave him the hammer fist. You see that? <laughs> Man, y'all should run. Dang. Dang, he's shocking him. That's new, right? Yeah, well, he shot him. I would shock him, too. Maybe his, his suit absorbed it. The kinetic yeah. energy? Like the Black Panther? This music is, like, I like it. I don't know. It's stressful. Please don't hurt me. That guy's just a civilian, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, you can't tell the difference. The man just saved you. I'm talking about some don't hurt me. Well, why do you call himself Vengeance? Maybe it's the propaganda, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because they've been leeching out the city. So he's, he's there to whoop their ass. He's Vengeance. No more lies. All this blood is from his head. Thumb was seven. No. He was alive when a chemosis around the wound. That's right, Bruce. Detective Batman, I like that. He knows what's up. He's got the magnifying glass. The mayor was up here alone. That was the mayor? That's the same guy you saw in the beginning. What Scott. the? His costume was really cool, though. Secret mm -hmm. friend. Let's play a game, just me and you. Dang, that's, that's like some Zodiac too, killer. There's a cipher, too. Just like it. So creepy. What's going on here? I asked him to come, Pete. This is a crime scene. It's way over the line. Oh, you gotta call him. What does a liar do when he's dead? He lies still. Um. Oh, he's... <clears throat> Just real quick, guys. I'm not gonna pause it again, but when I messed up... Remember when we watched the Christopher Nolan series? I messed up and said something, but you guys let me know that... I think it was like Jim Carrey played in it back in the day because I remember, and I thought that was the Joker, but you guys told me it was the Riddler. I was so this is probably the Riddler. This is probably the, the Riddler Joker. because he's leaving the little riddles, yeah. But the dude I seen didn't look like the character I saw Jim Carrey playing. Mm -hmm. Cause that man was eccentric. Oh Jesus, this must be a favorite night of the year, huh, pal? Yeah, Halloween. Happy fucking Halloween. Jeez. I want him out of here. Now. So nobody likes him but Gordon. Yeah, Gordon knows the truth. Is it that song? Mm -mm. Oh. Not at all. We really gotta go, man. Soup? Sorry, but we'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> a wife lost a husband, and I lost a friend. Mayor Mitchell was a fighter for the city, and I will not rest until this killer was found. So this Batman is a little darker, a little, you know, glass half empty type of guy. Yeah. Man, this one's so cool. I know. I love the way this one's filmed. Whoa, and he has a freaking wraparound balcony like that. It's insane. Sometimes in the morning, I have to force myself to remember. That was cool. Whoa, look at everything that happened. Yeah, there's some emo. I'm getting like emo Batman vibes. <laughs> you don't think it's the Kurt Cobain playing? <laughs> Is this Kurt Cobain? Yeah. I mean, if emo had a poster child, it's <laughs> Kurt Cobain, bro. In fact, in an eerie coincidence, it was 20 years ago this week. Always on the anniversary. It was a shocking crime that remains unsolved to this day. Wow. What to this day? Is that Alfred? Oh, yeah, he's got that accent. That's Alfred. And Smingle. Must have Oh, that is Smeagol. That's so cool. The killer left this for the Batman. Apparently. You're becoming quite a celebrity. Why is he writing to you? Our accounting friends at Wayne Enterprises are coming for breakfast. Here? Why? Because I couldn't get you to go there. I haven't got time for this. It's getting serious, Bruce. This continues. 
It won't be long before you've nothing left. I don't care about that. He has a scar, you see that? The I mean, you don't care about your family's legacy? Seems like a fighter, huh? What I'm doing is my family's legacy. If I can't change things here, if I can't have an effect, I don't care what happens to me. But stop. You're not my father. How old are we? So that Alfred walks up and tells him like it is, huh? Mm-hmm. He's a no-filter kind of Alfred. Edgy Alf. Dang, he figured that thing out in like records on super smart. Whoa. What do you think about his house? That's probably like what Twilight's like. I feel like you have to do some heavy dusting. Like that's what I immediately thought. Kind of Doctor Strange. Where'd you get those hours? Oh. Drive. I don't know who's smarter, the one who figures that out or the one who creates it. Sure as hell ain't me, the one who observes it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we did that? Escape room when I figured out that that clue. Man, I was terrible at that. <laughs> there. Hmm. Is that a black light? What are you looking for? USB port. They're using a black light to look for a USB port. Maybe it's a hidden one. Thumb. Mm. Drive. Oh, Jeez. so the word drive. And thumb. Because he cut off his thumb. That was mm. the thumb on the key. Or on the uh the USB drive, drive yeah. Try this. Dude. Oh, this guy's hilarious. Oh, you had to use that thumb. Ah! So much for family values. Oh, shit. No idea. But that's the penguin. My Falcone's. So Falcone's right hand is the penguin. Shit. I want to see the penguin. Get out of you freak. You hear me? That little suit's going to get all full of blood. <laughs> When twins come at you, that's like kind of getting jumped. They should have at least put their hands up. Jeez. Oh, take it easy, sweetheart. You looking for me? That's the penguin, right? I wish I like knew who the penguin actually is to be like excited for that. Because I know he's obviously a Batman Character. world yeah. guy. Yeah, probably from the comics. Know, Chief. I might have been coming out at the same time, but... I don't know if he's in the old movies is what I'm trying to say. Whoever she is, she went out, Jake. He's smug. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Batman let him off easy. I guess if he beats him up too much, he'll retaliate. Yeah, you saw how he was like people ready to die for him. <clears throat> A whole slew of them. I feel like Christopher Nolan was like snappier with his movies. It was like right to the action, mm -hmm. you know? But these, they slow play. And yeah. Throw out the suspense. I kind of like it. I do. It's dark, right? You see how that makes a face over there to the right? Oh. That looks so creepy. <clears throat> Is it supposed to do that? I don't know. Oh. She's a, she's the cat woman, I get it. Because there's kitties. Close. Do you think he liked that? You think he was into that? I don't know if this version of him is. I didn't even realize earlier that he was the one on the motorcycle behind that car. <laughs> That would be so scary. <laughs> oh, the scene. What's she about to steal? Oh yeah, she's got some intel. Dang. That's that fancy. That'd have been me. It would not have been the right size tool. Never is. It never is for you. <laughs> I always never have exactly what I need. Mm -hmm. Okay. He planned that. <laughs> hey, give me that. Was that a passport? Consula. Anika. Or something. He heard her. That's why he killed him. What? Oh, so that girl is that girl in the apartment mm -hmm. who the mayor was had affairs with. Let's go talk to her. So they're trying to leave town. And she was there to get that passport for her. What a friend, right? Selena Kyle. I so she couldn't come up with four hundred ninety-two dollars. Killer posted the following message on social media, and we have to warn you: the video is very disturbing. Oh, Jesus Christ! 
This is a little state. On Halloween night, I killed your mayor because he was not who he pretended. But I am not done. Yeah, Bro, he's got him rigged up. Oh, that's like Game of Thrones. Yeah, you're not this is crazy. Savage served a distinguished 30 year career on the GCP. Holy shit, I seen that guy too. At the club. Well, the iceberg land. 44 below. What is that? The club within the club. The Shadow Club. You should know all about it. He wasn't cool yeah. enough for it. Don't like, worry, you imagine were. being like the king of shadows and not being invited to the shadow club. <laughs> so let, you're going to help me on this. For your friend. Meow. <laughs> Aww. Don't we all? You're they're so cute. Here. I can take care of myself. I think she was referring <laughs> to him. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know how he has like a kind of like wandering lost vibe. He's a stray. A bat. A stray bat. There's a needle mark on his neck. Injected him with arsenic. Ooh. Rat poison. Yeah. He's calling them like rats, like they're in an infestation or something. More symbols. <gasps> oh, the screeching in the back of my ear. I know, it's so. Stressing me out. Oh, no. Good eye to see that, though, because I wouldn't have. What's the riddle? I'm out of it. It'll spoil the chemistry. Bring him into the light. Find the rat. We it sounds like a, lo a bomb location to me. I feel like when Batman finds him, he's gonna kick the shit out of him for making him solve all these riddles. I would. I'd be mad. Ow. I don't know about these things. I need to see you in there. This hunting ground. You're a real sweetheart. You really don't care what happens to me in there tonight, do you? <laughs> that reminds me of Fallout, that scene between the ghoul and uh, Lucy. Good. This is like a brain dance on Cyberpunk. What is it? <clears throat> like a brain dance. This is what you do, like, to solve crimes on it. I got you. Can you hear? Yeah. Don't look away. I need time to make IDs. This is so scary. She has to walk in there acting so awkward. <laughs> Guys have a little problem with eye contact. Damn, don't bank your Gotham. Good, so everyone's it? involved. Yeah, baby, feels real good. The club within the club. Hey, it's just how I drop. Can we not do this right now. Drop heads. That's crazy. I mean, who was that? Oh, I saw him. Look back. Gilbert. The Gil Gil turn is there. And he's coming over. You happy? Talk to him. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Hey, aren't you the DA? Do you want to come over? Sure. Oh, uh, no, I'm good, but you enjoy. I don't mess some contacts up. I like this girl. <laughs> oh, hey, I like you, too. I mean, this Riddler, going after the most powerful people in this city, he knows so much. He doesn't know shit, man. What are you talking about? Yeah, he does. What about that rat? Hey, hey, Gil, come on. Hey, the rat. Slow down. Ask him about the rat. Hey, what's this about a rat? There was a rat. We had an informant. Big-time information on Salvador Moroni. That's how we got him out of the drops business. Okay, I don't want to hear this. This is the kind of pillow talk that got that Russian girl disappeared. What do you know about that? Wait, where are you going? She knows Annika. No, stay on the DA. I told you I'm looking for my friend. Yeah, that's primary mission number one. Where's Annika? Out of my face. I don't know. Hey, just keep your voice down. Hey, what's the problem, ladies? There's no problem. It's just girl talk. Was that the penguin right there? Because it said Oz? Oh. Maybe. Well, don't be a stranger. Who's this? Someone she doesn't love. That was so creepy, wasn't it? You know Carmine Falcone. I told you it's a mob spot. You didn't tell me you had a relationship with him. I don't have a relationship with him, okay? Well, that's not what it looked like. Wait, what are you doing? I can't do no. this anymore. No! Oh, she's going off on. You done saw too much, Batman. <laughs> This guy's here to get air money. Is it a W to just get tortured like that or have the rats eat you alive? Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. He might tie him up and do God knows what. So the Reddler's point is to show people that everyone who was in a position of power over them is actually a corrupt person. Right, and you see how crappy their town looks. They think they're doing some good, but where? And I guess like good old fashioned journalism just isn't gonna cut it anymore I at guess this point. Not. And it looks like those drops are also like infiltrating. What do you know about a confidential informant in the Moroni case? Yeah, 
sure who that was. That's the rat we're looking for. Somehow Riddler knows who he is. If we find the rat, maybe it'll lead us to him. Where are you getting that? You have a source. I spoke to the DA tonight. I don't have a relationship with him. Pretty. You a new friend of yours? I've taken the liberty of doing a little work on this latest cipher. The one from the rat maze. I'm afraid his Spanish is perfect, but I'm fairly certain this translates to you are El Rata Elada. <laughs> Rata Elada. Rat with wings. It's slang for pigeon, does it? Store pigeon. Where are your cufflinks? I can find them. But doesn't this have such a Joker feel to it? Mm. It really does, because it feels a lot more like the Joker movie than the uh, Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah. Or the Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy. Yeah. So he's been Batmaning a whole lot, not Bruce Wayne. In. Hey, hey, hey what's your like bite here? Would you slick? Hey, watch it, fellas. His father saved my life. I got shot in the chest. I couldn't go to no hospital, so we showed up on his doorstep. Operated right on the dining room table. Kid here, he saw the whole thing. Up on the stairs, looking down. I remember your face. You don't think that meant something he did then? It means he took the Hippocratic Oath. Hippocratic Oath. That's good. What a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming to today's memorial for our beloved mayor, Don Mitchell Jr. Our program will begin shortly. Well, I know you. Bruce Wayne. See the guy from Shawshank? That's that. what I thought, too. I'm Bella Royale. I'm running for mayor. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. Something always happens to his daughter, just like in uh, really The Green Mile. Mm -hmm. He hasn't even said one word to her. <laughs> she said, you got a lot of money. You should be helping the city. Mm -hmm. This is stressful. It's scary how he's taking out these officials all creepishly. Right. Well, what's scarier to me is how all the officials are corrupt as mess. Who's that? Take a kid. Man, I should play outside linebacker. Every time they save a kid, don't even think that's Batman 2.0. Yeah, I think of every superhero movie I've ever seen. That kid's gonna be next. Like in the end of Spider-Man, the type of walk, not, uh, Andrew Garfield, mm -hmm. that little kid walks up. Get out of the car! Get out of the car and show your hands! It can blow up. Get Has out. the codes on it. Get him up! Get out, show up! <gasps> is that Coulson? Yo, he's got, is that a bomb strapped to his neck? There's a bomb around his neck! Jeez. Oh my God, no more lies. To the Batman on his chest. <laughs> that is so scary. You better go answer it. Clear this place out now! Y'all, this is too much. This is so stressful. Man, this one's going crazy in its own right, guys. Oh, look, they're walking. You have to. They got the bot, I know. That guy's so old right now. Mm -hmm. Just him and a robot. That is so scary. Let's go. Oh. Batman. Yeah, y'all talk all that junk about him. What the hell is he doing? Gordon! Our guy thinks it's worth it, okay? Looks like a combination lock. Can we just cut it off? Not if you want to keep your head. Why is that phone just ringing? That's so stressful. If you answer, it might explode. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. In these trying times, never forget. I'm just a phone call away. And it said ring, 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 ring. You came. Who are you? Just an instrument. Oh, geez, here we go. Unmask. Let's do it together, okay? I've been trying to reach you. You're part of this, too. How am I part of this? You'll see. Can we get somebody out here? This thing is gonna kill me! Shut up! What did he do? Sold out his city. Three riddles in two minutes. You give me the answers, and I'll give you the code for the lock. Man, hell no. Riddle number one. It can be cruel, poetic, or blind, but when it's denied, it's violence you may find. I'm dead. Justice. Justice. Huh? The answer's justice. 
Justice? Yes. Riddle number two. If you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? Bribes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God, Dang, I didn't bribes. know that one. I would have got my little... Cost. How much? Ten grand? Ten Gs a month? I get a monthly payment just not to prosecute certain cases. What cases? You didn't ask me that. Come on. It's ten grand. <laughs> Last riddle. Since your justice is so select, please tell us which vermin you're paid to protect. Which vermin? The rat. The informant you all protect from the Salvatore Moroni case. How do you know about that? What's his name? 20 seconds. Man, you better no. start spilling. Kill. Family, people I love. They'll kill them too. Who will? People are watching. What people? So much bigger than you could ever imagine. Oh my god. It's the whole system. <laughs> you better back up, Batman. <laughs> he would rather get exploded than to, to give, give up that his information. Family. That is crazy. This one's dark. That sucks. He was only getting 10 grand a month, though. That's it. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's a lot of money, but geez. Did you, did you just sell your soul for yeah. 10 grand a month? Hey! Relax, goddammit! Hey! What's the matter with you? This isn't the way to do this. You two now. Let me handle this, Chief. Okay, give him the room. That guy has a crazy voice. I know. It's mobster esque. Gordon ain't playing in this one. Mm -mm. Put them hands on Come Batman. <laughs> we gotta get you out of here. Oh, you punched me in the face. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. He didn't pull back either. Send Gordon to the shadow realm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Dang. Oh boy. <laughs> You got a wingsuit or something? <laughs> oh! Should have pulled that thing don't. earlier. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't smooth, was it? <laughs> Thought they'd have cut that. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is so dramatic, though. I, I like it. I love how dark and gray and it's raining and it's just... It's a fun contrast. It's really almost like a fantasy world in a way. It's so dystopian. Mm. But they're whipping up some drip. drip oh. Drops. This is a oh, bad. drops, not drip. Like they got what are you saying? Biggest drug bust in GCPD history was a fraud. Just to make people's attention go off of it for a while? Probably so. Wow. Because they all had drops in that club. Like, it was... What's she here to do? This just got complicated. I think I just out in the ring with that. <laughs> hey, but now the coast is clear thanks to her. Dangerous crowd you're stealing from. Jesus. <gasps> oh, no. That's not her friend, was it? I think so, was it not? Get up, Batman. Dang. Dang. This shootout is nuts. Gordon ain't scared, is he? That one guy right there. Wasting bullets. Hey, Benjamin! You think you can come after my money, huh? He ain't there. You thought. Ghostface. The Batmobile! Oh. Enzy, get the money! Yeah, that car sucked. Maybe you know where that car's from? Rocket League. Rocket League. Came out in 2022. <laughs> You're in the Batman pack. <laughs> I wonder why. Because <laughs> that's when this movie came out. That's the only reason I know what it is. Dang. I love how this Batman's got like the American muscle car. <laughs> Not like a cyber truck, basically. Right. <laughs> Penguin's kind of cool, bro. I gotta hope you get away, Penguin. <laughs> I know he looks like he should be on the Sopranos or something. Uh-oh. Spraying and not playing. Somebody. I'll be honest, the citizens are pretty good drivers too. I know. It's Gotham, they expect oh. stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, watch out, y'all. Penguins coming through. <laughs> it's just a Tuesday in Gotham. Bat I ain't never seen Batman just run down the bad guys. Usually the opposite. <laughs> They're usually like chasing them. Yeah. yeah. No, not the chicken bus. Bro, is he in a traffic jam? Get out of the way. 
Batman's so focused, he kind of looks like he's gonna pop the natter all on him. He's like. <laughs> That's what you are. That looks like vengeance right there. <laughs> what the hell is this? Good cop, batshit cop? <laughs> <laughs> well, you El Rata Alada. El Rata Alada? Yeah. Am I the only one here knows the difference between L and Law? Jeez. <laughs> 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 oh, you are L. Like, you are El Rata. Oh, like a Ratatata. That man needs a bigger mask for all that brain he's got. No, I would have not. Is it Gordon? He's gonna be Gordon. Do you know what I am? Any idea? Yeah, he's an orphan. He can't be touched with the riddles, the Batman. That man sits around reading riddle books all day. about the old orphanage, one that burned down. It was part of the Wayne estate. Donated it. Yes, they built a tower. Let's go. I just realized I'm still here, right? <laughs> Gonna tie me! How the hell is this? Is he walking like a penguin? He, he waddled out. <laughs> He's lucky, though. <laughs> Got the orphanage. They need one of those head lamps. <laughs> like they're about to go explore a cave, <laughs> like a bat cave. Hey! Hey! Was that the Riddler? Oh no. Some droppers. Drop heads. Oh, drop heads. <laughs> I believe in its promise. Is that Batman's dad? But this is a damp room. I want to bypass political gridlock and get my renewal is and a lie. Hey, he doesn't call your dad corrupt, Batman. What you gonna do about that? Jesus, his next victim is Bruce Wayne. Oh, he said it's Bruce Wayne. He don't even know it's Batman. That's crazy. Said it's been two years. I still don't know who you are. Be careful, Alfred. Don't open it. Oh, he's calling. He's calling. Oh, man. Oh, no. He's going to explode him. Corey, I need to speak to Alfred. Oh, Listen to me. Something terrible is going to happen. I'm afraid it already has, sir. There was an explosion. Oh, so Alfred. Oh, that's why it was fireproof. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I've been trying to reach you. Oh my gosh. Those are some spooky eyes. See you in hell. Maybe he means he's about to turn Gotham into hell and they'll see him there. What are you doing? Oh, he's making a crime scene chart. He's been hanging with Miles Morales. Why did he do that, dude? No, he just has spray paint a lot. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't remember him doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know my memory ain't that great. So that's his dad's program he set up to be mayor mm -hmm. that he donated a billion bucks to? Right. Jeez. A billion smackaroos. Hey, who just donates a billion dollars without getting something in return, right? Selena. Where are you? Yeah, I can see you. I need to talk to you. Sorry. How close did you have to get to Penguin, to Falcone? You don't know what the hell that Falcone owes me that money. He owes you. Yeah, and a lot more. No, really. Why yeah, is that? You know what? That? I can't even. No. I want to know why a guy like Falcone would owe you anything. Because he's my father! Whoa! Oh, twist. I didn't see that coming. I thought it was creepy. Batman had the wrong idea, didn't he? My mother worked at the 44 Below. Just like Ani. Damn. She used to take me there when I was a little girl. To the club? Yeah. Then one night my mother told me who he was. When I was seven, my mother was murdered. Strangled. 
Never found out who. Probably some creep from the club. Anyway, social services came to take me away and he didn't say a thing. That's crazy. Couldn't even look at me. I'm sorry. That was deep. What is that? Her what nails look scary. So more dangerous than you know. What? She just talking shit about him? <laughs> like on the low, ain't he one of those privileged people? <laughs> I told you, baby. I can take care of myself. Is that what Catwoman's supposed to be? Like a mobster, like leave you on edge kind like of girl? Like a seductive monster. <laughs> yeah. I proved it. 20 years ago, one reporter set out to uncover the dark truth. The Reigns and the Arkham's Gotham's legacy of lies and murder. I hope you're listening, Bruce Wayne. This is your legacy oh too. Oh my God. Well, what and are you doing God to solve it? needs you to answer for the sins of your father. Good thing they can't find him because he's too busy being Batman. He needs to get on that treadmill. He's doing too much you know I, I want to see Carmine Falcone. He looks like he's took some drop. <laughs> and they just let him in with no problem, huh? Probably assume he's corrupt. Hey, Johnny Slick. What are you doing here? <laughs> Is it true? What? Did you kill him? For my father? Look, your father was in trouble. Your father wanted me to handle it, so I did. Yeah, but how do you even trust him, though? He could be lying. Right. Even... Are you saying Salvatore Moroni got my father killed? Do I know it for a fact? I'm just saying it sure looked that way to me. Oof. This is what you wanted, huh? Dang. Sorry, Batman. Who's awake? Oh. I lied to my whole life. I spoke to Carmine Falcone. He told me what he did for my father about Salvatore Moroni. All these years, I've spent fighting for him, believing that he was a good man. He was a good man. You listen to me. Your father was a good man. Get a man killed. Why? To protect his family image. To protect the family image, and he didn't have anyone killed. Tell us the truth. Right. It was your father's mistake. But when Falcone told him what he'd done, your father was distraught. He told Falcone to go to the police, that he would confess everything. And that night, your father and your mother were killed. Crazy. It was Falcone. Your dad just trusted the wrong people. He was too naive. You were only a boy, Bruce. And all you had was me. I'm sorry. He's already developed, because remember he said, you're not my dad at the beginning. Now he's holding hands. That was actually a lot sadder than I thought it would be, man. I saw the signal. That's not you? Catwoman? Oh, so I thought good. it was a villain. I was like, dude. Well, we just haven't seen her in a while. I knew she was about to pop back in the frame. The gun down. I'm telling you, goddammit, she called me. Here, listen. The Falcon is up. The Falcon has wings, too. Oh. Falcon is the red. You're so smart, Batman. I kind of like how he's a detective in this one. Mm -hmm. Falcon works for you guys. The mayor, DA. No. Oh. Don't lie. We work for him. Oh. Renewal is everything. The renewal fund. Yeah. The mayor, Falcone, Maroney, everyone got in on it. It was perfect. We're making bribes, we their money. Huge charitable fund with no oversight. Everybody got a piece. Call them all as his puppets. That's crazy. You think this goddamn election matters? Falcone's the mayor. Bruh. He's been the mayor for the last 20 years. Let's go kill that son of a bitch. So this is all a big revenge boy, basically. That's crazy. Hey, Dad. What? I'm Maria Kyle's kid. You remember her? Yeah. Just put down the gun, honey. This is for my mother. She missed! Come on! Oh! She can fight. Right. You just can't shoot. <laughs> no, he didn't. Distracted her a little bit. My own flesh. Nah, Batman's gonna pull up. 
Can't have his head. <laughs> you made me do this. That's like your mother. You probably just recorded him saying that. He has to pay. Hell yeah, he does. Shoot him, shoot him. <laughs> Man, come on, Batman. Alright, fine. We'll shoot him. She's God. like, whatever you say, vengeance. Well, at least let her kick him or something. Yeah, well, we still got another freak to deal with. <laughs> yeah, the worst one. That's the craziest one. That's tough. Mm -hmm. What a moment. We Best moment. all work for you. Goddamn rat. What'd you say? Enjoy your night at Blackgate, Carmine. You always just a gimp. In an empty suit. I'll spray paint your ass! Uh oh. I'll spray paint your butt. That's what he just said. What are you doing? Where's Did he catch him? Or was it Batman that got shot? That was a confusing shooting. No, it was him. Oh, uh, man. Who did it? Be honest. Yeah. The shots came from up there! That's crazy. Oh, wow. That was sneaky. He didn't mean really bring him to the light. I thought he was meaning with his black light. I mean, like, bring him to the light, bring him to the light. You know what I'm saying? So I can Like the pop ultimate him. light. Yeah. This guy's like the Michael Schofield of villains. Was that like a death machine? Like a mask? Batman has the kookiest villains, though. That's just the truth. They're so crazy. Well, look where they're bred from. Crazyville. He's gone. Yeah. Lieutenant, we got a witness here. Says she saw someone come down the fire escape right after the shot. She said he went into the corner. The diner. The guy said it by himself at the counter right now. No shot. Mm -hmm. He's She's hungry. not a real informant. She's setting them up. Bro, why they got the lights flashing? They're trying to sneak up on them. I know, because that ain't sneaky at all. Looks like they're trying to. Police! Hands up! He said put your goddamn hands up, you son of a bitch. Tell him. Oh my god. Is he gonna do it? <gasps> Is him? Stay still! It's always no. the corniest looking ones, ain't it? You like being roughed up a little bit. <laughs> or the attention, or Batman. <clears throat> Batman coming into the scene. Yeah, slam me over this counter officer. <laughs> oh, he sees Batman. <laughs> hmm. I kind of like that he's like kooky, tw like twisted times eight. Yeah, but we need to get some like some motive. I'm just saying if I'm Batman, because I just really don't like these characters. I find the riddle, I'm punching him right in his nuts. This one's not a rat. All that self-loathing. Oh, it's a rat. Another letter. Batman has to stick his hand in a bat cage, cage to get it. I know what he's scared about, isn't he? That was Ravage. That was like one of the House of the Dragon Dragons. Well, maybe he won't have to wear that weird wingsuit now if it bites him. He'll just have wings. He'll turn into like... Spider Batman. Exactly. Some kind of pry tool? Did I chisel? him? Like a spider weapon. Yeah, that's Killed what he killed. Weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't over. Oh man, he's been posting all kinds of shit online. He's got like 500 followers. Real fringe type. Show me the post. Truth unmasked. I think I'm his last arc. Yeah, bingo. What is? Bruce Wayne. The Batman. Bruce Wayne's the lie. He's lying to everybody. But oh. who he is? People are going to say that looks like me. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> and don't y'all do him dirty like that. I told you I'd see you in hell. What? If only you knew how long I've been waiting for this day. Bruce. Way. There you go. Mm hmm. How did he know? Because he's the best Riddler? God, look at you. Your mask is amazing. Why did you write me all those cards? I asked you to bring him the light, and you did. We're such a good team. We're not a team. They always do Batman like that. They include him. You're a pathetic psychopath. Begging for oh, attention. You're gonna die. Oh, no, 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 no,
Maybe you didn't figure it out. Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. Then aren't you not as smart as you thought I you were? I guess I gave you too much credit. What have you done? What's black and blue and dead all over you? What have you done? Oh, he's singing it. He's kind of good. Mm, he's really annoying, though. <laughs> hmm. I thought that was like Batman's music in this, but it's obviously the Riddler's. <laughs> That's the beautiful mob sound covering up the corruption. Hey! What are you doing in here? Change of attitude. That's right. Oh, that's what he got. Mm, so maybe he needs mm. to use it. Maybe he needs to pull some carpet up. No shot. Hey, you got the riddle right earlier. At least I did something. He would fool me like a little bit. Is it going to be like a basement? A lair. Oh, it's a map. Look, they're lining whoa, up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was he got explosives or something? There? I'm just thinking about like Game of Thrones, how they layered the city in explosives. Mm -hmm. And wildfire. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for all the comments. I parked seven vans all along the city seawall. Oh, and no. Big night, they will go. He's trying to flood the city, bro. Oh my gosh. This man's too much. This is crazy. No, he didn't see it. He did not see it from jail. The flooding will happen so fast. That's crazy. As breaking news oh my gosh. Dorks United. What a crazy time to watch this. Nerds Unite. Now they will spend their last moments wondering. <laughs> Oh, wow. Man, she better take off. Mm -mm. There's Gordon. Gordon. Who else does he see? I'm not going anywhere. We're under attack, man. Exactly. It's the problem with this city. Everyone's afraid to stand up and do the right thing, but I'm not. Excuse me. Ma'am. He's a brave little toaster, ain't she? She really is. Yeah, you better go. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Let's go. Oh. Let's go, Batman. Man, he's letting live. You better be cutting on. He's like Daredevil. Right. He's gonna be like, if I kill the criminals, then I'm just like the criminals. Ooh. Go, Gordon. <laughs> go, Gordon. Come on, Catwoman. Go help. You guys suck at shit. Oh my gosh, they gosh. are so close. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, he's nervous. He don't even know what to do right now. Yeah, because Catwoman's about to get him. He's like, shh. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> No, he ain't. She's about to find out, Loki, who it is. That'd be a total. <laughs> What's that? Rejuvenation serum. Or adrenaline. Oh, man. Pull him off, ref. Pull him off. That's the Hulk serum. Here comes her beam. <laughs> Don't touch this cat woman. Who the hell are you? I'm vengeance. He's like, that's my name, actually. I don't know why anyone on this planet would want to live in that city. The mob don't get you, the cops will, and if the cops don't get you, the freaking sea will engulf you. 
And if you go on the bus, the Joker will laugh at you. But that tax rate, like 12% there. <laughs> you know I mean? Probably like 42. The bat box cutter thing on the front. Love that. Why'd he fall in the water just now? Oh, to, maybe to save those innocents? I'm glad he had one of those. They're like kind of scared of him, so they're like, no. Well, I guess because he's all about whooping that butt, but I guess he fell in the water. So this is going to change their perspective of him. And now he's he's <clears throat> more of like a helpful Batman. Well, I guess that's still Batmaning. Together, we will learn to believe in Gotham again. It sounds like Nirvana, though, doesn't it? I'm starting to see now. <laughs> Never heard it before. That just terrible. Him raining on your brain like that. One day you're on top. The next, you're a clown. Joker? Question mark? Hey, hey, hey. Don't be sad. You did so well. And you know, Gotham loves a comeback story. Hell no. They're about man. to team together and break out that jail. Go get Batman. <laughs> they need to relocate them. <laughs> I be yeah, separate them. <laughs> You're leaving. Jesus, don't you ever just say hello? Where will you go? I don't know. Upstate. Bloodhaven, maybe. Why? You asking me to stay? You know this place is never gonna change. It'll be bloody. Yeah, she ain't lying. No. That was step one. I have to try. It's gonna kill you eventually, you know. Listen, why don't you come with me? It'll be fun. <laughs> the That's not his way. <laughs> Duty calls, ma'am. <laughs> meow, meow. You should go. Yep, he's married to the city. Don't forget it. I put it on for my city. <laughs> on, on for my city. Selena, take care of yourself. Oh, you know she will. Man, I'm gonna miss a Catwoman. Look at those nails, though. I know. The other Catwoman would have been like, you don't have to tell me that. Right. Imagine if you're just chilling, you just see Batman and Rabbi. I mean, in this in this universe, that would be more common. <laughs> yeah. In the other ones, he's a lot more sneaky. He's gonna take it right. Till next time, Catwoman. Okay, guys, so that was The Batman, Robert Pattinson. I'll be honest with you. So my first impressions of, okay, I guess I'm going to address Robert Pattinson being Batman. I really liked his portrayal of Batman because the movie was so good to me. I really do think this was like a 9 out of 10 movie. There was a couple things about it I didn't love. I'll get to that. But overall, I give this a 9 out of 10. What about you? It was good. One thing, though, is Robert Pattinson was just... Boy, he was depressed to the gills in this right. one. Boy, he man, just, didn't smile. He had a dark side to him, for sure. He just seemed really like... I mean, Sick of this junk. Honestly, but that made it kind of interesting in a I way. I kind of like the, the edgy... Yeah... I just got done performing in a My Chemical Romance concert. Yes. Batman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I kind of liked it. I like the... It had you wanting, asking more questions and you didn't get the typical Bruce Wayne playboy type of personality. It, to be honest, it gave it like a, like a, like a mid-2000s, early 2000s futuristic grunge feel. I, I don't really know how to put my finger on the pulse of the movie, but it was definitely kind of like a blast from the past in that sense, you know? Yeah, it kind of was. Right, because grunge is kind of out for the most part, I noticed, you know. And the music definitely, like, made it that way as well. Right, and it did a... Yeah. And if you guys don't know, man, Kurt Cobain, his favorite color is red, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyways, he... Uh, if you know anything about Kurt Cobain, that's pretty deep and dark as it is. So I really think the contrast to playing the music, it did a really good job capturing, like, the hopelessness tone of the city. You know, the city felt... The wasteland vibe... Yeah, basically, the city felt like it was wanting to off itself, if yeah. you know what I'm trying to say. So it just had that type of tone to it. And I thought it was a really good movie, man. A really good movie. I thought it was dark. I thought the whole twist about the 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 charity, all these people are basically eating off this charity. And this charity basically like has this circular effect of constantly bringing in, which constantly funds the corruption. And 
But his dad's the one who invented it, so his dad gets the finger. I don't think he wanted it to be that crap. No, no, no. I, I don't. That, I don't think intentionally that's how you know. it was set up. But when he got killed, it was like, what's the best way to clean some money up? There. Well, it's a tough city, man. You get involved in anything. You try to make any type of change in any type of way. There's a lot of it. You know, entities in the shadows. That was a common mm -hmm. theme in this movie. All in all, man, I just thought it was a really good movie. I think casting uh, the Riddler as some psychotic teenager was just insane. Almost like the guy at the Trump rally was like a psychotic teenager, which was also just insane, what people. You know, the, it's like a common theme for like a single shooter type of person. That guy embodied that. They had the perfect, I guess, person to portray that. It was cool. Definitely a nut job for sure. Yeah. I think Batman should have slapped him up a little bit. To be honest, I think he got off a little bit too easy. He should have <laughs> got he should have got them hands put on him. It's one thing to like get thrown in a cell, but I feel like if Batman would have just broke some ribs, he might not have been so giggly. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Overall, I think it was just a really good movie. I really like Catwoman in it. I like that it was kind of like a sidekick that Batman had, and she came with a in huge handy. twist with a huge twist because her dad was Falcone. Right. Yeah, I didn't see that coming no. at all. I did not see that coming. But it really goes to show how she grew up around crime. So yeah. maybe that's why she's so good at it. She's yeah. perfected the craft and she's learned from a lot of people. Yeah. But overall, man, like you guys know how we felt about the movie because you saw our reaction. But I really do think out of it's hard to say that I like it better than Christopher Nolan's. I don't really I don't know that that's true because they just, just felt totally different to me. You can't really to me, in my personal opinion, I can't compare it because I feel like in the Christopher Nolan one, Batman was kind of like the protector of the city, and he was just like the protector by doing whatever was necessary to. And be he also protector. sort of played a role, like when he was Bruce Wayne, he was a whole different. Yeah, person he was than when he was Batman. Two different sides. And but this one, Batman was he was the one in the same. Yes. Right? Yeah. Do you notice that too? Yes, because I was gonna say like he was like in the daytime being Batman. You know right. what I'm saying? Where everyone else would have been like trying to like find out who he is. But a part of me kind of like I really I prefer the portrayal of like Gotham and stuff in this one. And I think oh, that yeah, me too. this one did a better job seeming like feeling like a horror movie, if that makes sense, as to where the Christopher Nolan felt like an action movie. Mm -hmm. And so they're obviously just very different. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about the Christopher Nolan series, I think makes it reign supreme is obviously uh, the Joker. Yeah. The portrayal of the Joker was just iconic. I don't think any character in any of these movies can match that. But to me, the coolest character in this was the Penguin. I thought the yeah. Penguin was pretty sick in this. So. I think it's cool how Sandman... The Joker and the Riddler all kind of give off the same like aura in a way. They're like mental patients, I guess you can say. I think that's a common theme in Batman. I'm yeah. Noticing. Like, because everyone's like out of Arkham and stuff. And yeah. even in the Joker, he went to Arkham Asylum. It was cool. It was really cool, man. It really gave me Joker vibes. If you guys haven't seen the Joker, uh, go check it out for sure. It's definitely. I wonder if they'll intertwine our, these two. It's on our channel. I hope they they. No, they can't. They can't because that was a different Joker. Well, right? I was gonna say we haven't got another Batman from this uh director we, we need another right. robert pattinson batman i was into it i don't know how this movie did at the box office i don't know if it disappointed people to be honest guys i don't really know how you guys feel and i kind of like to give my opinion about something before i know how you guys feel because sometimes i'm way off the mark i feel like you guys are like something that really you don't but a lot of it is because of like historically accurate like comic references and stuff but let me know, man. How did you guys feel about this movie? Well, it won because... the Patreon poll, so they obviously feel a little something. Well, that's because well, it's our niche, though. It's like our genre. True, yeah. Our type of people like and, superhero And for stuff. the future Patreon, we decided um, superhero movies, we will put them in separate polls. Because <laughs> obviously they do win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so we sure. don't want to have a rigged thing. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, let us know. How did this movie hold up to your expectations of what you know a Batman movie should be? Because to be honest... Did you think I it was too soon for a remake, too? Because that's a question that's a question I might have had, but I kind of like the remake. So, I, I, like as a Batman fan, like if they keep making if they make Batman movies, I'll watch them. The movies are so good. I think the character of Batman is such a well written character that yeah. there is something. I think what it is is there's just a general interest to like just see how he could be portrayed, you know? Because portraying his smartness in this movie was cool. Like, I really like that side. The Sherlock like, Holmes version? Yeah, where he didn't have to have like a lot of technology. He was, I mean, he did have some technology. But my thing is, bro, if you, if you crack the clue, just smile a little bit, you know? Like, <laughs> geez, just a little bit. Yeah, I, I think, know, give yourself some credit. Like, you, you were killing it. You got to play Twilight and Batman, bro, smile. Well, he was Life's the same good. way in Twilight, to be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe in real life, he I just I think that's smile. Rob Pattinson in a nutshell, I don't know. <laughs> depressed i don't know i've i've never really seen him play a role where he's like happy he's like <laughs> i used to play in this the great twilight franchise and i've been 
reduced to Batman. What is this? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, all in all, man, I really think the movie was great. I just think that, to be honest, it was just really artistic. And to be honest, I, how do I how do I describe it? It was it was almost like the Dark Knight trilogies or the Christopher Nolan version, but I feel like they kind of upped the action in this in a way. Like I feel like one of the things I really appreciate it is about this movie is the way they would fight each other, the sequence, like the choreography of the yeah. fight scenes. I thought it was better in this. I thought they did a better job showing off the city. I thought yeah. it was better than this. They did good world building. Exactly. Yes. And I think even just just the added criminal element that they chose mm -hmm. to portray in this was just really and well the live done. streaming and stuff like adding modernization into it was also very cool it was better done than even the joker series in terms of like showing that just the average class of people are also part of the criminal element i think that this movie did a just a phenomenal job of that for real yeah. it just made it seem the question i kept asking myself in this movie which i guess is you know what the goal should be is why on earth would anyone willingly live in the city but then obviously the answer is because it's so corrupt and people get in debt and you know the mob like, they can't really the go mob anywhere. owns the banks and they don't let you leave and i get it so it's just and obviously they're surrounded by water so it's hard yeah, to just physically escape so crazy movie incredible movie babe i guess it's safe to say this was I, this was definitely my second favorite Batman movie. I think, I think the Dark Knight was the best, but right. I think I enjoyed this one. I really did like this one, I but know, I just want to put hard. on a different level because I don't want to compare those two because they're so different to me. Just Batman and I can't compare them. Sorry we always compare. I know a lot of people just feel like why compare, but it's just hard not to want to It's the easy compare. thing to do, yeah. I feel like everyone's sort of wanting to know our opinion on that. Yeah, because so it's hard we, not to say we did compare the Jokers, but to me, the Batman, because to be honest with you, the Rob Pattinson Batman, I didn't get much from, but Christian Bale's Batman, I got three movies from. Right, And yeah. I know he, like, would portray himself as one way just so people wouldn't get the idea he's Batman. Yeah. We didn't have this with this one. This one was more of, like, a... He was more Batman than he was. And that's maybe the point. He didn't really want to be Bruce Wayne. He wants to be Batman. Well, that's what I was going to critique the movie about when I said earlier there was one thing I didn't like about it. The only thing I noticed was Batman did such a good job explaining himself and explaining why he was like motivated to rise above the crime and corruption and fight for like a better cost than the other movies. And this movie, it just sort of went without saying, I guess because you've just seen Batman movies so many times yeah. at this point that they just didn't really feel the need to like. Well, we mostly get to be elaborate on that you with know? their parents dying. Like we get to be there mostly when his parents die. He just had like an angry vibe to him. I yeah. wish they would have dove a little deeper in. Like even like the minute that a corrupt mobster tells him that your dad is corrupt, like he was so willing to just completely throw away his dad's name and his mind and just mm. uh, assume he's like the worst. And they even made the comment, "You assume the worst in people." Yeah, and he even did it to his own parents until Alfred set him straight. I really like the character of Alfred in this. So mm -hmm. all the characters I thought were really great. To be yeah. honest, they I don't really feel like there was any character I looked at and thought, "Oh, that was a weird choice." Everyone actually worked really well. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much chemistry uh, Catwoman really had with Robert Pattinson in real life. To be honest. Well, I don't know that they were they jumping off the they screen were just, with chemistry. They were just like both two ends of a battery. Like she was like all honey. Yeah, and, da, da, da. Yeah. and he's just one of more of those like, yeah. He's like, let the body sit yeah. the floor. Let the body So, I mean, maybe that's why it didn't come off that way. But other than that, I love that movie. It was a good one. I'd watch it again. I'll yeah. put it that way. Absolutely incredible movie, man. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and experiencing this with us. This was genuinely a work of art and like i said man not all movies are perfect but these movies genuinely are close and i just think my biggest takeaway from this movie when i think about it will be i just think visually the way they portrayed this city it was just such a fun visual experience mm -hmm. and if you're someone who's never you know really re i guess everyone watching seen the movie because we just got done but i was gonna say if you're someone who's never seen the movie you know tell your friends that if they're not into batman definitely watch it because it's a visual experience right it is an you experience. should definitely you should definitely experience because i mean guys real life is starting to look more like gotham city all the yeah. time is it not so mm -hmm. uh just in terms of that you should definitely watch batman because there's a second one to this one coming out it serves as a warning of what reality could look like if it was a lot more corrupt right you know so incredible movie thank you guys so much for hanging out like comment subscribe it really helps like a million if you had any fun watching the video maybe subscribe to the channel and what you guys can do if you really want to help is turn on the notification bell and stuff like that just helps youtube build our channel to be honest with you all so all right we'll see you on the next one